let's just get something straight from the start. This is common sea lavender, found in abundance on the North Norfolk coast. It is not sea heather. Sorry. So that was all a bit of a rush, just to try and get some pictures while I just had that light. Sun rose and the, the, the warm light, the first light that you get in the morning, the real nice orange warm light, lasted all of five minutes. Um, and I was hoping that the clouds above my composition here were gonna catch, but they didn't really catch as nice as I was hoping for really. It was gorgeous over that way, but really no foreground interest over that way as such. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm at Thornham in North Norfolk. Um, the traditional place to go, which is the coal shed uh, and the boats are uh, just over there. I can see them to my right. And I wanted to come a little bit different this morning to try and get this sea heather that's come out this time of year. These lovely purple blooms in the salt marshes here. Uh, and there's a few little pools of uh, tidal water in this area and I was you know, I just wanted to get a nice simple composition of the sea heather, the pool of water, and hopefully a, a nice sky reflecting in the pool of water. Um, and it worked out okay. The, as I say, the only thing that didn't really go in my favour was the sky didn't reflect in the water that I was hoping for. But, um, but the heather looks lovely. It's really nice. It's the first time I've actually, first time I've paid attention to it. I've probably seen it before, but it's the first time I've really paid attention to it. So I grabbed a few shots there, um, a few portrait shots. And what I've done, I've got the heather right in the foreground. I've got my 16 to 35 mil lens on, uh, angled down. So I was really focusing on the foreground, which was the heather. Uh, the, the pool of, of tidal water was, was either my mid ground or my foreground, depending on how I composed it. Um, landscape art orientation on the camera seemed to work better than portrait. The actual little bit of tidal water here is sort of angled to the front. Um, so it worked better for its shape to be portrait and then as I say led up to the the sky um, which was at the obviously in the background of the shot. So yeah portrait worked well. A few of those I took um, just moved the camera around a little bit put the pool of water to the right hand side um, and to the foreground if I'm honest, I think I could have done better, but it was all a bit of a rush. And uh, as I say, that, that sort of the lovely warm light that I wanted just disappeared really quickly. So anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do now. <laughs> I think I'm going to put the drone up. Yeah. Have a look at these pictures and then have a look at some drone footage. I'm absolutely kicking myself now. I was stood the other side of this pool, 
taking the shot that way because I was hoping that the clouds were going to catch up there and I didn't want to shoot directly in the sun. But of course, now I've come around the other side of this pool shooting towards the sun that's now behind some clouds. And there's some really nice reflections in this pool. Um, but the main, that, that sort of lovely warm tone in the sky that we had first thing's now gone and it's you know, a lot plainer now. That would have been really nice to get that in the reflection of this pool coming this way. I don't know why I didn't think about that. I think when I first got down here, it was a case of, look, I had in my mind that I wanted to get, I wanted to shoot away from the sun and, and I wanted to get some color in the clouds that way. So hence why I pointed a camera that way. But it just goes to show, and I think we all do it. You slow down a bit, slow down, look around, think, spot your composition, spot the best composition and, and then take your shots. And then if other ones come after that, then happy days. So. I'll take this shot and you know it won't be as good as it would have been earlier on but I will play around with it because there are some quite nice reflections in there but yeah kicking myself so this composition here I've got set up is quite simple but I quite like the shape of this one and I'll explain it to you. So I've got some of the sea heather in the bottom here, bottom left hand corner uh, and at the top of the frame. And I've got the sea pool sort of at the top third of the frame and then the, the little tributary or track of, uh, of the water that heads along here sort of snakes down there and into this corner here. So it flows quite nicely from bottom right hand corner, snakes up to the little pool and then the, the, the sea heather on the outside. I think it actually compositionally works quite well. It's, a, it's quite a simple image. I guess you'd call it quite abstract in a way. I've cut the sky out completely. So it is all about the pool of water and the heather. Um, yeah, I quite like this one. So as the sun's getting up a little bit too harsh now from where I am. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the coal shed you can see behind me with the boats and see if I can get some nice black and whites, I think. Um, not enough cloud in the sky to do much with the sky now. So yeah, try some black and whites over there and I'll see you over there in a second. Well, just a quick grab shot really, it's been done so many times, but I thought while well, I'm here I'll take a quick shot, it'll be a black and white post rope leading up to the boat, the old boat, still here, still surviving, um, light coming in from the right so it's quite harsh light on the top, uh, leading lines up to the boat, classic composition, black and white, it's alright, I'm here, why not? These old posts have always puzzled me for a composition. And I think it really needs the tide all the way in and a nice long exposure to make a, a really nice creative image. But in this harsh sunlight, another black and white will probably do. Um, there's a pool of water here with three old stumps in it leading up to these stumps and I've positioned it landscape. So the composition goes from left corner all the way through the frame and out to the top. Um, yeah, another black and white. I think what I'm gonna do now is just wander around, handheld, um, seeing if I can get a few more shots with the sea heather in the, fore in the foreground if I can, and just snap away at these old posts. And I think that's probably me lot. So yeah, let's see what I can do, handheld, snapping.
I think I'm going to call it if I'm honest. Um, I'm pretty tired and I'm wondering whether the lifeboat's open. They do a really good coffee and bacon roll, as me and Darren found last time we came here. So I'm going to see if the uh, lifeboat is open for a, yeah, for a bacon roll, that would be nice. But I'm going to call it this morning photographically wise, I think I've exhausted the opportunities, the sun is now too high, it's too harsh. Um, yeah, it's just not really doing it anymore for me. <clears throat> but actually, early on this morning was really nice and that area over there in the salt marshes, there's a lot of um, intimate compositions that you can find just using those little tidal pools. And obviously with the sea heather out at the moment, that helps. Uh, it really needed a bit more in the sky, if I'm honest, but, um, but that was fine. It was just good to try and experiment with, with that, really. I hadn't done it before and I just felt as though I needed a bit of a change from woodland and come out to the coast. It's always good to see the sunrise at the coast in the morning. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I certainly have. I've enjoyed getting out this morning. And yeah, I shall look forward to seeing you on the next one, which will probably be in the woods, if I'm honest, because I'm heading back to Home Fen next weekend, uh, meeting somebody there, so that should be good. Um, so yeah, the next one will probably be at Home Fen in the woods, but I hope you've enjoyed this one at uh, Thornham in North Norfolk. And until next time, I'll see you soon.